that was pretty tight to the wire. You know, I think we, the bench was yelling, shout from Gino, and you know, shoot, shoot, shoot. As he's going up the ice, he made the pass, and uh, you know, just looking for the light to making sure it was a, a good one. It was. Again, the the speed at which he can attack up the ice is uh, it allows other people to get open. It drives defensemen back, and then in the offensive zone, he's a uh, when he holding on to the puck, moving his feet. You know, with, with a combination of the Sydney and him together tonight, it's a tough combo to handle, and uh, they were certainly putting him back on their heels at times in the game. Hey, can you talk about getting contributions from so many different players tonight, and especially Pascal? Well, Pascal, you know. Getting his 100th goal in overtime for the win is it was great, but uh, you know that was a great goal from our team. Ben Lovejoy gets a shot on net for a rebound, and Matt Cook's right in front, and Pascal is the beneficiary. Picks it up, makes a great goal, and um, getting goals from different areas of our team, defense included tonight. Pascal, and then the the big guys having a big night and set us up for five goals will hopefully get you a win. I, I think, you know, we trying to talk who was believing we were going to be scoring a goal when the puck was behind our goal line with 10 seconds left. And um, but going through the stretch that we went through and 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 trying to get out of it and trying to get a win, you, sometimes it uh, it's a little not as pretty as you'd like it to be. And and uh, we stuck with it. We kept getting leads. We had to uh, deal with the five on three and giving up the getting up that goal and then the lead late in the game and our guys stuck right with it and you know sometimes you need a improbable goal to improbable win to uh, get you back in the right track and hopefully we can build on this. Six minutes. What about Dan's, I mean the way Dan coached those final few minutes in terms of just having the time out ready for you guys to use and Yeah yeah I mean I, I think he was trying to avoid it for as long <laughs> as he could and you know we uh, I think they iced it there one time too so we were able to kind of you know settle down a bit but no it didn't look great there for the last 30 seconds they kind of kept it in our zone but um, you know you look at uh, eats his play a couple times to, to block the shot from going to the empty net and all those things add up so gave uh, gave Billy a chance to, to seal it for us there and, and tie it up yeah really happy I mean he's uh, he's been working hard and you know he's getting some chances so you know to finally get one and get one that big it's uh, it's a good feeling for him, I'm sure. It's kind of classic Bill Bear in that shot. Yep, right in, uh, right in his area, right in the scoring area, and pick the corner, post it in. So um, can't do much on that. If you're a goalie, you made a great shot. What about Gino tonight? I mean, people always say that neither one of you two can really win an MVP because you're both playing with each other, but it kind of shows you just how valuable both of you are when you're together, right? Yeah, I know. We, you know, we get the message when we're together, and we have to create things. But, you know, it's it's hard for them to key on one, one of us if, if we're playing together. And, um, you know, we're both natural centermen, and I'm sure it's an adjustment for him to play wing, but he did a great job tonight. It's simple, and we win. It's good for me. Gina, yeah, were you ever tempted to take the shot before you pass it to Billy? No, I'm not see shoot because we go with three on two, and I'm see Billy be, being open, and I'm try pass him, and I'm just if a little bit time. Where does this, what you did tonight, rank in terms of your big moments with the Penguins? Yeah, Penguins last four games, last four, four games, and it's a big moment for me and for team. Thank my teammates. They support me and help me on ice and bench and great game tonight. Not it's not it's, shoulder, it's okay, it's not short and not a problem. How do you feel? I feel great now. <laughs> How do you feel to get a couple goals from defensemen? Not just everything about you, to have two defensemen score a couple oh. goals. It's good. If, if it's score defensemen, it's good. I love game and I enjoy it if my teammates yeah. score and I try to help. I didn't find you saw me there. No. Make it more special to get that get a goal like that. 100 goal in my career. Uh, game winner all the time. I'll take it. Ever have an easier one? <laughs> uh, no, not really. I think that, that one was pretty easy. You, uh, you guys, I mean, this is sort of exactly what you guys needed this type of oh, game. Oh, we needed that. We like needed that kind of kind of spark, you know, that uh, we we were missing. Gino played uh, big great for us. Uh, obviously, it was a big boost for him to come back, and uh, 
he played good. It, it looks like he didn't uh, didn't miss a shift all day. Did you see a goal scored later in the game than one game? Four times. No, no. Uh, that was a that was a rocket. He uh, he's known to to have a good shot, a big shot. He uh, that was a big goal for him and a big goal for the team. Not going to the net's never a bad thing, is it? What's that? Going to the net's never a bad thing. No, exactly. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. Put the puck there, go to the net. You uh, you never know what's gonna happen, and uh, end up with the puck on my stick and uh, big goal.